In 2018, a bag of rice cost 18,000 naira in Nigeria. Today, the same bag costs 55,000. That's over 200% increase in just five years. And it's not just rice. This is the case for most food. But why is food so expensive in Nigeria? Nigeria's annual inflation rate hits 22.79%. While Nigeria's headline inflation rose to 24.08%. Food consumption cost Nigerians over 22 trillion naira in 2019, according to a data from National Bureau of Statistics. The report showed that Nigerians spent a whopping 2.5 trillion naira on potato, yam, cassava, cocoa, and other sugars. Same year, Nigerians spent 1.9 trillion naira, which represents 4.9% of the total expenditure on rice. Over the years, rice has become a favorite food for over 90% of Nigerians. Nigerian jollof rice. Nigerian jollof. This is jollof rice. Food prices have not been always high in Nigeria. In the most food distant past, leading up to the 2000s, Nigeria enjoyed a different narrative. The standard of relative stability in food prices anchored by self-sufficiency in food production. But Nigeria's economy too was about to change. The mission emily reliance on oil exports faced seismic oil price shock in the early 2000s. These shocks ruined the foundation of Nigeria's economy, which is oil, affecting government revenue and its ability to invest in the very agriculture and infrastructure that World secured global food crisis as the world watched the global economic crisis of 2008. 2008 was a tumultuous year for the economy. Nigeria again found itself in another economic struggle that saw the price of food increase once again. The unforeseen COVID 19 pandemic of 2020. Lockdown disrupted the food supply chain, creating economic hardship. The prices of staple foods surged less than one month ago. A basket of tomato here in the north was just about 3,000 naira. As I'm talking to you, one month after, that same basket is going to 10,000. The nation's household fell the strain. It was a moment of reckoning. By August 2019, the government of Nigeria banned the import of palm oil rice to curb the influx of small good goods from neighboring countries such as Benin, Niger, Cameroon, so as to boost local food production. On July 20, 2023, India, who is the largest exporter of foreign rice to Nigeria, announced an export ban on non asthmatic white rice and broken rice. This further increased the price of rice in Nigeria. Nigeria is one of the world's largest markets for avoid rice, consuming an average of $4 billion worth of it every year. With production of 5.4 million metric tons in 2022 and consumption of almost 7 million metric tons. Nigeria had to import the shortfall in rice. There is no single agricultural product that we do not import in this country, even though we have the capacity. This means about 50% of rice consumed in Nigeria comes from imports, which enters the market informally across Nigeria's porous border, with the remaining production made by local farmers. Uh, this closing border help a farmer a lot because there is no any foreign rice will come out again from uh, from outside that will come to Nigeria. The journey of rice begins with the bamboo farmer who plays a vital role in the nation's food security. This begins with the selection of seeds. Nigerian farmers carefully choose high quality seeds, the foundation of their crop. These seeds are then planted with care, a labor intensive process that requires both skills and patience. As the taste turn into words, the rice seeds transform into a lush sea of green. A testament to the dedication of this hardworking farmer. Harvest time is a time of celebration. Families and communities come together to reap what they sow. Once harvested, the rice grains are collected and loaded onto a cart, ready for the next step in their journey. Our journey now takes us to the heart of local markets, where traders and buyers gather to exchange these precious grains. Negotiations are fierce as traders seek to strike the best deals, ensuring that both farmers and consumers benefit. From the local markets, the rice is transported to small scale rice mills, where it undergoes processing. Here, modern machinery is used to separate the rice grains from their husks, turning them into the familiar white rice we know. Packaging facilities ensure that the rice is clean, safe, and ready for distribution. Workers carefully pack bags of rice, 
which was a testament of the hard work of Nigerian farmers. Our journey concludes in the closely sitting market where consumers have access to this essential food. Families shop for this rice, knowing that the journey of this table from the farm to their table is a testament to the resilience and dedication of Nigerian farmers. Today, Nigeria is the leading rice producer in Africa, producing over 46% of West Africa's total production. Today, Nigeria stands at the crossroads of tradition and innovation in agriculture. As of 2021, agriculture accounted for approximately 22% of Nigeria's GDP, employing over 70% of the population. Innovations like high-tech greenhouses are changing the game, allowing farmers to grow crops year-round. Drones now take to the skies, monitoring crop health and optimizing yields. Nigeria's crop production has been on the rise with initiatives like the Alcohol Borrowers Program, boosting food security. Fishery and livestock production is also thriving with poultry and dairy farms meeting the nation's growing demand for meat and milk. Cooperatives empower small scale farmers, helping them access resources and markets. State of the art processing facilities ensure that Nigeria's agricultural products meet international standards. In vibrant city markets, consumers have access to a diverse range of locally grown produce. Despite the rise in food prices, Nigeria is still one of the world's largest producers of food products like yam cassava and cocoa, exporting more than $1.4 billion worth of agricultural products in 2022. Farming in Nigeria is a powerhouse sector with a multitude of advantages, ensuring food security, generating employment and income, and boosting rural development. Agriculture diversifies the economy, fosters exports, and attracts foreign investment. Plus, it's environmentally friendly and preserves cultural value. These major developments have not come without major challenges. Like there are so many issues that we are having in the agricultural sector, inadequate infrastructure and climate change that must be addressed for sustained growth. Our farmers do not have the technical know-how, they don't have the resources, they don't have the means, and we do not even engage in dry season farming. Exchange rate fluctuations, partly driven by Nigeria's dependent on oil revenue have also impacted the prices of imported goods, including food items. Another challenge is the insecurity in some regions of Nigeria, partly in the northeast and north central, which has disrupted food production and distribution, leading to localized food price spikes. So the problem is that ordinary farmers, that they are the ones that are feeling insecure because they are being attacked by banditry, Limited access to modern farming technology and mechanization impact productivity and efficiency for small-scale farmers. Gaining market access and fair pricing can be problematic, with middlemen sometimes exploiting farmers. Most harvest losses are concerned with inadequate storage and processing facilities leading to spoilage of crops. Despite these challenges and limitations, Nigerian farmers remain resilient, drawing on traditional knowledge and innovations to keep their feeds productive. The Nigerian government has also implemented various policies and programs aimed at stabilizing food prices and increasing food security. This includes initiatives to promote domestic agriculture and reduce reliance on food imports. To curb the wastage of food and increase production of certain food in Nigeria, certain private companies are now building modern processing facility in Nigeria. An example is this workhorse rice milling plant that is capable of processing more than 20,000 metric tons of paddy per annum. Other private companies like Dangote, Boa, have also set up their own processing plants across the country. In the heart of this ever-changing narrative, there lies a question. Can Nigeria rediscover the harmonious note of stable food prices? The answer perhaps rests in the hands of innovation, policy, and collective determination. To achieve that in Nigeria, we need to invest in storage and processing. Because if you don't do that, the value chain, you can never be able to meet up to the targets.